Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Param Guru Dev to Srila Prabhupada and all of our Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to all of the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas, Vanchaka of Come with me to Jagannath Puri. It is the um, early morning before dawn. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates they rose very early and took bath and then they came to the Jagannath temple. Outside the Jagannath temple, three huge chariots are standing there. 
Hay tres carros inmensos que están esperando. They decorated with hundreds of chamaras, yaktail fans. Están esperando con un montón de chamaras y de, con cola de, de Jack. And the hundreds of shining mirrors. Y un montón de eh, espejos que están muy brillantes. And um, silk cloths. Y ropas de seda. Lord Jagannath's chariot looks like a Sumeru mountain, golden mountain. El señor, el señor Jagannath. Es el señor, el señor, el carro del señor de Parece el monte Sumeru. Parece el monte Sumeru. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, con sus propias manos, empezó a honrar a los grandes devotos, especialmente los que habían venido, sus seniors, como Paramananda Pura y Paramananda Bharati, y los que habían venido de Navadip Dham para Puri para el Ratiantra Festival. Y las manos, las grandes manos del señor eh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu parecen de estar a las bendiciones de todos los grandes devotos que han llegado a, a verlo. Mahaprabhu decorated Paramananda Puri and Brahmananda Bharati with sandalwood paste and gave them garlands. Dándole, eh, decorándoles con unas grandes guirnanas a Paramananda Puri. Then he decorated uh, Advaita Acharya and Shiva Stakur. And by the touch of the lotus hand of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and receiving garland from him, their transcendental bliss was increasing. Soon it was time for Lord Jagannath to come from his Sinhasan, from his throne in the Jagannath temple, and come outside and rise up and take his position on the chariot. Llegó el momento en el que el señor Jagannath se levantó de su Sinhasana y le tocó salir fuera en el asiento de su carro. So before he came, the king of Orissa, Prataparuta Maharaj, went up on the chariot and there's a, a parakram mark around the uh, sitting place of Lord Jagannath and he took a broom and he began to sweep. Y antes de que saliera el señor Jagannath, el rey de Orissa, el señor Pataparudra eh, empezó a, a caminar, eh, salió fuera del Parikram Mar, que está fuera y comenzó a barrer. Y empezó a sprinkle flowers on that path and um, water scented with sandalwood paste. Y entonces empezó a llenarlo con flores, lleno de, flores eh, llenas de sándalo, pasta de sándalo. So en la cultura maravillosa. En la cultura, el trabajo de sweeping es para los castes. En la cultura médica, lo que es barrer se prepara para la casa más. Aquí, el king de todo el país estaba tomando una broma y sweeping en el servicio del Lord Jagannath. Pero aquí, el mismo rey de la ciudad estaba barriendo para el Señor Jagannath. Showing that everyone is a servant of Krishna. Así que todos son sirvientes de Krishna. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the humble service of the king, his heart melted. Cuando el señor Jagannath, cuando el señor Chaitanya Mahaprabhu vio ese servicio tan humilde del rey, su corazón se derretía. King Prataparudra was very eager to meet with Mahaprabhu, but Mahaprabhu, being a sannyasi, refused to meet with any wealthy persons. El rey Prataparudra quería encontrarse con Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, pero al ser muy rico el rey, Mahaprabhu se renunció a encontrarse con él. He said, "Niskin chanasya bhagavat bhajanon makasya param param jigamesho bhavasa agrasya." Sandarshayasa Vishayam Atayoshi Tangsya Ahanta Hanta Bich Bakshnayato Pyasadhu For a person who is who has renounced this world and who desires to make progress in transcendental bhajan, then just to see the face of a woman or of a Vishai, a wealthy sense uh, enjoyer, alas, alas, it is more dangerous than knowingly drinking poison. Y entonces él recitó ese verso en el que dice que cualquier persona que quiera avanzar, que quiera ir al camino de la renuncia y avanzar en el vayan, no es conveniente que tome asociación de personas que son ricas y porque es más peligroso que tomar un veneno. So Mahaprabhu would not meet with him, but seeing that he he was very humble and serving Lord Jagannath, then his Mahaprabhu's heart was trembling in anticipation 
when can I give mercy to Brother Purudu Maharaj? Entonces, viendo su verdadera humildad, Señor Jagannat estaba deseoso de verle y decir, ¿cuándo puedo dar mis bendiciones al rey Patakarudra? So, now the time came for Lord Jagannat to come from his Sin Ahasan and travel to the chariot. So, the servants of Lord Jagannath at that time are the, called the Daitas, Daitapatis. Los Daitapatis son aquellos que se encargan de llevar la de su Sin Ahasan al carro, al Señor Jagannath. So the dieters are the descendants of Vishvavasu, who was the king of the swineherd people, who was serving originally that deity of Nilamadav, which reappeared as Lord Jagannath. So, the lineage of the heirs that serve as Lord Jagannath from generation to generation. So usually, the the puja of Lord Jagannath throughout the year is done by the uh, the pandas. That those are the Brahmin priests of the king. Así que los puja o la adoración del señor Jagannath se establece siempre en esa línea familiar. But 15 days earlier, there was a snan yatra, bathing ceremony of Lord Jagannath. 15 años antes hubo una snan yatra. 15 días antes hubo una un baño, una ceremonia de baño de Sri. And that festival is done by the Daitas, the very big, strong descendants of Vishwanath. And then after that, Lord Jagannath does not give darshan for 15 days. No one can see. So all the devotees in Puri are feeling such separation because they used to see him every day. During those 15 days, there is the Nava Yovanam ceremony, and that is when the dieters are uh, redecorating Lord Jagannath. So now on this day, he's appearing for the first time after 15 days, all oh, completely fresh and sparkling, and he's Nava Yovan, ever fresh. That's what I mean, Nava Yovan, ever fresh, new youth. But his new youth is even more new. <laughs> but the meaning is that in the eyes of Radhika, Krishna looks new. Every time she looks at him, he looks new. As if she's never seen him before. So that is the inner meaning of the Navayovanam festival. So, or when we go to Puri every year, then those very descendants, the descendants of Vishwavasu, they are a very close family and always invite us to come and make Kirtan and Qatar in their home. Todos los años cuando vamos allí los que tenemos un kit en su casa de la familia descendiente de Sarasu. So Lord Jagannath, part of his swarup is that he has rings on each side of his body. Parte de su swarup del señor Jagannath es que tiene anillos en los en los extremos de sus. And there's a silk rope goes through these rings. Y una tela de seda va a través de estos anillos. And so the dieters can hold on to that. And they can lift Lord Jagannath. Así que los daitas pueden levantarle al Señor Jagannath. So they've put big cushions stuffed with cotton. Y ponen unos grandes cojines hechos de algodón. In a path from the Singhasan to the Rathcote. Desde el Singhasan de su asiento hasta el carro. Lord Jagannath is wearing a huge crown, or decorated with flowers. It's as big as he is. So holding onto the ropes, the jagat, the dietapatis, the dietas are rocking him. One, two, three, and then they lift, and he comes off one pad, and then he lands on the next one, and when he lands on the cotton pad, he goes crunch and breaks open, and the the cotton floats up into the air. And then his crown is going like this. So 
So gradually, gradually, Lord Jagannath, because he's intoxicated, <laughs> he makes his way and up out to the cart and up the ramp, gradually, gradually, and takes his place on the rat cart. <laughs> when he's coming, so many people are banging gongs and blowing conch shells and many instruments are playing. There are millions of people there all trying to see. Maharaj Pratapurta, the king, has arranged a special area so Mahaprabhu and his associates can see at the front without being um, pressed by the crowd. As Jagannath is coming, Mahaprabhu is saying, Manima, Mahima, Manima. But the crowd is so loud, no one can hear what he's saying. Yeah. Manima is the Oriya. Oriya. It's the language of Orissa. It's addressed to a very respectable person. So then, when Lord Jagannath came up onto the rat cart, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood with folded hands and began to offer prayers. He said, Namo Brahmanya Devaya, Go Brahmana Hitaya Cha, Jagantitaya Krishnaya, Go Vindaya Namo Namo. I pay my obeisances again and again to the coward boy Govinda. <laughs> <coughs> or he is worshipped by all the Brahmanas. <coughs> and he is the well-wisher of the cows and the Brahmanas. <coughs> and the benefactor of the whole universe. <coughs> so then Mahaprabhu prayed. Jaya ji janani vaso deva ki janma vado yadubhara parishasve do At the end of the tenth canto, there Shukadeva Goswami has spoken this verse and he has put all the leelas of Krishna, all the Madhurya of Vrindavan Leela and all the Aishwarya of Maturan Dwarka Leela like these vast oceans he has kept in one pot, small pot of this verse. It's a great miracle. In this verse, at the end of the chapter 10, Shukadeva Goswami ha integrado totalmente todos los razas de Matura, de Brindavan y de Navatwit y los ha integrado y los ha colocado en un recipiente pequeño. Oh, Krishna is victorious. El gran victorioso Krishna. Jayati Janani Vaso, he lives among his own people. Que vive entre su propia gente. The Brajabasis. Los Brajabasis. When Krishna returned to Brindavan, eventually, the bridge basis said this was Jayati Janani Vaso. Oh, how glorious is Krishna came and he's living with his own people, I mean. Not those Yadus. Jayati Janani Vaso, Devaki Janmavado. People say that he's the son of Devaki. But we never believe it. <laughs> Yadu Bharaparishad Swar. He's the best amongst the Yadu dynasty. And his associates are like his arms through which he removes all a dharma from the world. Still chat but that's what he does outside of Vrindavan. But in Vrindavan, all the moving living entities, the bridge buses, the birds, the cows, and the non-moving living entities like trees and creepers, they feel the pain of separation of Krishna when he's not with them. 
vacas, ya sean pájaros, sean arboledas, sean eh, jardines. Todos sienten la separación cuando no le ven. But he is so kind. Still trying to bring it up. Susmita Sri Mukina. By his beautiful smiling face, he takes away the pain of the suffering of all moving and non-moving living entities in Brindavan. Pero tan solo con su con su sonrisa puede eliminar ese 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 dolor y esa pena. Las entidades móviles e inmóviles. De las entidades móviles e inmóviles. And by that same smiling face. Y por esa misma sonrisa es como se incrementa y aumenta el amor puro de Prem de las Rajagopis. So then Mahapu pray to Lord Jagannath. Na ambi pro na cha narpati na divai sana sudro na ambani na chakrabiti no banasto yadiva kintu pradhan nikala paramananda ponam mitabde I am not a Brahmin, Katriya, Vaisha, or Sutra. Sí, le repito este verso. Sutana Mahaprabhu es el Jaya. Ni soy un Sutra, ni soy un Vaisha, ni soy un Satya, ni soy un Brahma. I am not a Brahmachari, Sanyasi, Grihastha, or Vanaprastha. Ni Brahmachari, ni Grihastha, ni Vanaprastha. I know that there is an endless ocean of nectar. Soy simplemente un océano de misericordia. Who is the beloved of the Braja Gopis? El el bien queriente llamado de las Gopis. I am nothing but the servant of the servant of the servant of that Gopinath Krishna. Tan solo soy el sirviente del sirviente del sirviente de aquel Gopinath. So, when Mahaprabhu prayed like this, then the kirtan began. Tras recitar esto, el kirtan comenzó. Mahaprabhu himself had Organized the kirtan groups, seven kirtan groups. El mismo había organizado siete grupos de kirtan. One was the the group where the main dancer was Advaita Acharya. Uno de ellos, en uno de ellos el bailarín principal era Advaita Acharya. One was a group where the main dancer was Sri Vastakur. Otro grupo el principal bailarín es Sri Vastakur. One was a group where the lead dancer was Hari Vastakur. Y no otro era Hari Vastakur. And one was the group where the lead dancer was Vakrashra Pandit. He was famous for dancing 72 hours non-stop. Yes, it's the incarnation of Radhika Saki Tunga Vidya. So, also, Mahaprabhu appointed lead singer in each group. So in the in the group of Advaita Acharya, then the lead singer was. Let me see. Shiva Stakur. No, no. Shiva Stakur was the lead singer in the group of Nitya Nanda. Yes. Shiva Stakur was the lead cantante in the group of Nitya Nanda. Then in Haridas Thakur's group, the lead singer was Mukunda. And in um, Vakeshwar Pandit's group, the lead singer was Govinda Ghosh. And his brothers uh, Vasu Ghosh um, uh, were they were his brothers headed by Vasu Ghosh. They were the backup singers for Govinda Ghosh. Vasu Ghosh and Madhav Ghosh. Uh, oh, in Advaita Charya's group, the lead singer was Swarup Damodar Goswami. <laughs> Very brilliant singer, the incarnation of Lalita Saki. <coughs> so that's four groups. Then there were three other groups. One was a Kirtan group from Shantipur. Led by the son of Advaita Charya, Achutananda. Liderado por Advaita Charya, el hijo de Advaita Charya y el hijo de Advaita Charya se llama Chitananda. Chitananda. Then there was another group from Kulinagram, which is a Kulia, now Kulia, now Madhya. Kulinagram. Ahora es la ciudad de Kulenia. And there was another group from the village of Shrikanda. Y otra es de Shrikanda. So there were seven groups, and when the rat cart began to move. Four groups were performing 
in front of Lord Jagannath, one on either side and one behind. Así que cuando estaba, cuando salió el carro, había los cuatro grupos, estaban los cuatro grupos, eh, uno detrás y tres delante. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to dance. Y Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comenzó a danzar. But he was dancing in all seven groups at the same time. Pero bailaban los siete grupos al mismo tiempo. Just like in the Rasa Lila, Krishna was dancing with every gopi, but every gopi saw Krishna is only dancing with me. In the same way, in the Ratyatra, Mahaprabhu was dancing in all seven groups, but every group thought we are so fortunate he is dancing in our group. Así pensaban también en el Rasa Lila, como las gopis, pensando que Krishna tan solo bailaba con cada una de ellas, solamente con una, con ellas mismas, nada más. Estaban solas bailando con Krishna. Así también en los grupos pensaban que Krishna estaba, estaba con ellos Mahaprabhu. At that time, Maharaj Pratapurudra, the king of Orissa, was on the roof of his palace and watching the festival. Así que el rey Pratapurudra estaba arriba encima de la azotea observando todo todo esto. And he was with his guru Kashi Mishra. Y su guru Kashi Mishra. And his shiksha guru Sarvabhoom Bhattacharya. Y su shiksha guru Sarvabhoom Bhattacharya. So, because Pratapurudra Maharaj. Had very humbly served the devotees and were humbly swept in front of Lord Jagannath. It was the desire of Mahaprabhu to give mercy to Pratapurusha Maharaj. Y así como él había que el rey Pataparudra había limpiado limpiado con la escoba todo ese camino, le quería dar toda su bendición. So Pratapurusha Maharaj, he looked and he could see seven Chaitanya Mahaprabhus. Entonces cuando lo miraba vio siete Mahaprabhus. And he turned to his guru Dev. I said, Guru Dev, look, Mahaprabhu is dancing in all the kirtan parties. <laughs> and his Guru Dev looked and could only see one Mahaprabhu. <laughs> his Guru Dev said, Sabha Bombardjara, can you see? Sabha Bombardjara looked at it, now I can't see also. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sarva Bombardacharya and Kashi Mishra they looked at each other. <laughs> oh, how fortunate is Prataparudra Maharaj that he is seeing this astonishing pastime that we cannot see. <laughs> so Srila Krishnadas Karaj say explain something very astonishing in this regard. He said, Lila Veshi Prabhu Nahi Nija Rusandan Icha Jani Kripa Shakti Kare Samadhan. The meaning is that Chaitanya Mahapu didn't decide, I will show seven forms to Prataparudra, but I'm not going to show to Kashi Mishra. <laughs> el significado no es que dijo Mahaprabhu le voy a enseñar mis siete formas al rey Patapadura pero no a Kashimir Chaitanya Mahaprabhu no estaba ni siquiera aware de que lo estaban viendo Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ni siquiera sabía que lo estaban observando ¿Por qué? Lila Vesh y Prabhu no hay ni ya no sabía Mahaprabhu es Lila Vesh él estaba absorbed en un particular pastime pensando que él era Radha encontrando con Jagannath es Krishna ¿Por qué? Porque el señor Mahaprabhu estaba absorto en un lila, en lila ves, que es que Radharani se encuentra con el señor Krishna. So, even though Mahaprabhu himself was in seven forms dancing there, each form of Mahaprabhu didn't know that the other forms existed. Incluso cada una de sus formas ni siquiera sabía que las otras formas existían. Mahaprabhu wasn't even thinking, let me dance in every group at the same time. Ni siquiera pensaba, vamos a bailar en cada grupo al mismo tiempo. Mahaprabhu was just absorbed in Radha Krishna's lila. Y él estaba absorto en los lilas de Radha Krishna. But, because, Icha Jani Lila Shakti Kare Samadhan, Krishna's Leela Shakti, his pastime potency, knew the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Pero porque Krishna de Shakti sabía en el corazón, el corazón, el deseo del corazón de Mahaprabhu. So because Mahaprabhu wanted to show mercy to his devotees, then without Mahaprabhu thinking, the Leela Shakti manifested him in each group. Así que como el deseo de Mahaprabhu era ese, el Leela Shakti lo manifestó en cada grupo. And 
Because the Leela Shakti knew that Mahapu's heart melted when he saw the king sweeping in front of Lord Jagannath, so the Leela Shakti arranged for Prataprudha Maharaj to see him dancing all the groups but not allow anyone else to see it. Le dio esa bendición de poder ver a todos los Mahaprabhus en todos los... La Lila Shakti le dio esa bendición de poder so, ver. So, this gives us the uh, glimpse into the nature of Lila Tattva. Nos da un guiño en el, en el Lila Tattva. Krishna, o oh Mahaprabhu, can be absorbed in one pastime, just thinking they are like an ordinary person. Pueden estar absortos tanto Krishna como Mahaprabhu en sus Lilas, como una persona ordinaria. But at the same time, the Lila Shakti or then allows for Krishna to reciprocate with all the devotees in different ways at the same time. But there's no effort on the part of Krishna at all. Yeah, pero la Lila, Lila Shakti hace el efecto que pueden reciprocar con cada uno de los devotos sin ningún tipo de esfuerzo. Mm -hmm. So, when Mahaprabhu was dancing, he began to perform such a beautiful abhinay. Mm -hmm. Cuando él estaba bailando, estaba haciendo un performance de Abhinay, Mahaprabhu. Uh, Abhinay means the postures and the mudras, the gestures of the hands, and the movements of the eyes and the eyebrows, which exactly play out the drama of the past time he was absorbed in. Y es que sus manos y sus cejas y su rostro estaba totalmente narrando y describiendo ese pasatiempo que estaba viviendo. Mahaprabhu was jumping into the air, sometimes fainting in midair and crashing to the ground. A veces saltaba tan alto y después antes y, y se rompía en el suelo cuando cuando caía. Nishtananda Prabhu was dancing around Mahaprabhu with his arms out like this, trying to catch him in, in case he would fall. Y el señor Nityananda iba de lado a lado a ver si podía agarrarle para que no se cayese. Advaita Charya was dancing behind him, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Y Advaita Charya también estaba saltando, Hari Bo. Srivas Thakur was holding hands with the devotees and making a circle around him. Mm. And then there was another circle behind him. And then another, so there were three circles of devotees holding hands to make space for Mahaprabhu to dance in the huge crowd. Maharaj Prataprudra came down from his palace and he wanted to see the dancing. Quería, bajo de su palacio y quería ver todo ese baile. Padanyasa, bujave, dutibi, susmita, bru, vilasa. Just like the gopis, they place their feet, padanyas, in very beautiful ways. And they smiled and danced with their eyebrows. In the same way, Mahaprabhu was manifesting beautiful dancing. Así como las copias también tienen su forma de colocar los pies y las y mueven sus cejas y sus ojos, Mahaprabhu estaba bailando de una forma exquisita. But the crowds they could not see it. Only those who are pure Vaishnavas who had prayed could see that beautiful lila of Mahaprabhu's dance. Pero la multitud ordinaria no podía ver esto. Solamente aquellos que habían desarrollado un, un amor y una apreciación para los pasatiempos de Mahaprabhu. Prataprudra Maharaj, he came down with his general, his very big bodyguard, Hari Chanda. And they were standing in the third circle. And the king was trying to watch Mahaprabhu's dancing. But Srivastakur kept dancing in front of the king. So the very big general, Hari Chandra, he reached forward and put his hand on the shoulder of Srivastakur and pushed him towards side. From behind. But again, Shivastaku danced in front of the king. He wasn't aware that the king was behind him. He's in front of the king of the whole country, blocking his view. But he's not aware. Three times Harichandra. Excuse me. Three times Harichandra Prabhu le quitaba el guardián y él volvía otra vez a ponerse en medio. Si no está cosiendo, ¿quién está pushing me? ¿Quién está todo el rato quitándome del medio? Outwardly, he's just a very poor Brahmin from Bengal. 
eh, era un de Bengal, era bengalí, era un Estern, señor. Externamente eh, parecía un parecía un drama, ¿no? parecía un bengalí. And someone is pushing him from behind. Y alguien está empujando por detrás. So he got annoyed, he just turned around and slapped him. <laughs> ¿Qué le dio una bofetada? He was the general. Le pegó una Y Never in his life did Harry Chandler get slapped by anyone. And that person lived. So Harry Chandler was about to say something. But the king stopped him. He said, you are so fortunate. <laughs> you have been touched by the hand of the great Srivastakur. <laughs> I am not so fortunate. <laughs> so then the general calmed down. <laughs> Mahaprabhu was spinning around like a firebrand. <laughs> He was having so much um, kampa, the ecstatic bhav of a trembling that his teeth were chattering like this and people were afraid his teeth would fall out. <laughs> he was trying to say Jagannath, but he was traveling so much, his mouth was he could only say ja 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 His hairs were standing on end. He looked like a simile tree. That has so many like thorns. And his body was drenched in the satric bar of sweat, perspiration. As he was dancing, he was crying, but the tears weren't rolling down his face. They were squirting out like from a syringe. Y estaban saliendo por todas partes como si fuesen, pues, eh, como si fuesen disparadas. Sí. Y entonces, según se giraba, era como unas personas, como un persona. Sí, otras personas. Sometimes he would become stunned, and the blood would ooze from the pores of his skin. Y a veces, hasta, hasta un poquito de sangre salía de los poros de su piel. Though he was golden, sometimes he had the vivarnia, one ecstatic uh, satvic bath, where his color began to change. So sometimes he would, became very white, and sometimes he became arun, pink, like the rising sun. Sometimes he would foam would come from his mouth. And when the foam fell from his mouth, one devotee named Shubhananda, he would jump and catch the foam and eat it because he was very rustic. So, Lord Jagannath himself, his eyes became big just seeing Mahaprabhu was dancing. So, there were thousands of people pulling the red cart. But sometimes the cart would move and sometimes it would not move. So they weren't pulling. Lord Jagannath was moving by his own desire. So when Mahaprabhu was in front, And they pulled, the red cart would come so Jagannath could see closer to Mahaprabhu. <laughs> And sometimes when Mahaprabhu would dance around behind the cart, they were pulling, but the red cart wouldn't move because Jagannath was... Where did he go? <laughs> and the cart was stuck until Mahaprabhu came dancing around the other side and then it would move again <laughs> when he came to the front. <laughs> so just as Radharani controls Krishna by a man, So in the same way, Mahaprabhu was controlling the movements of Lord Jagannath. So then at one point, Mahaprabhu stopped before Lord Jagannath. And Mahaprabhu turned to Swarup Damodar and said, sing a verse. 
Y se, se puso enfrente de él y le dijo, ah, canto, Saru, Tamara, canta un verso, por favor. So Tamara began to sing. Comenzó a cantar. Se yo to paranat painu, jaha lagi madana dahane juri kanu. And when Mahapu heard this, he became overwhelmed in ecstasy. The meaning is, Seito Pranata Pahinu. Now I have attained, I have met with the, my Prananath, the Lord of all my Pranas. In whose absence I was. Uh, being burned by the fire of Cupid and I had withered away. But now I'm meeting and coming to life again. So being inspired by this beautiful poem recited by Swaram Damara, Mahaprabhu himself began to sing a verse. He said, Yaha Kumara Hara Saiva Ibarasta Iva Chai Trakshapas Techun Milt Malati Surabaya Prada Katampanila Sachai Vasmita Tapita Trasura Tapya Parali Lavido Reva Roda Siveta Sita Rutale Cheta Samut Kantate Now this verse was from the Prakrit Alankarsha Shastra that means uh, mundane Uh, text describing poetics. And it was a, a material verse uh, about a, one you know, a woman. She's saying that person who stole my innocence when I was young a esa persona que robó mi inocencia cuando era joven. He is the same person. Esa misma persona. And I am the same beloved. Y yo soy la misma amante. Amada. These are the same moonlit nights in the month of Chaitra. Las mismas noches de luna en el, man, en el mes de Chaitra. Oh, these are the same breezes carrying the fragrance of jasmine flowers. La misma brisa que lleva el aroma de las flores de jazmín. Uh, which are coming through the forest of Kadamba trees. Que llegan a través de la foresta de los árboles Kadamba. So though I am the same, he is the same. And the beauty of the month is the same. But still, I am not satisfied today. Y aunque él es mi misma persona, yo también. Y el mismo, el mismo mes, no me siento totalmente satisfecho. My heart is yearning to be on the bank of the river river. Mi corazón está anhelando de estar en, la, en los bancos de, de la luna. In the very uh, dense and impenetrable uh, forest of Ratanken. Aquí en la foresta de Ratanken, muy eh, difícil de llegar y muy espesa. So this verse was uh, spoken by one lady who, before she was married, she had she uh, was in love with a boy. And against all the rules and regulations of society, she met with him on the bank of the Raven River in the for Vetasi forest. En el en el banco de de una foresta. En la ribera de esa foresta, ella se encontró con ese muchacho antes de casarse. Veta, that is called Veta Siratan Kane. Veta Siratan Kane. Antes de. And it's very thorny. Y es muy harsh. That means it indicates it was a difficult place to go. Y entonces está lleno de pinchos y es es peligroso para ir por eso. And in that place, it was not her idea, but mm, her. Mm, Sweetheart, by force, uh, united with her. And she was, she's, many years later, she's thinking, oh, it was so wonderful. It was very daring and exciting. 
era, fue un, un poco a, aventura y excitante. And secret and forbidden. Y el secreto era muy eh, prohibido, era un secreto But prohibido. But then later she married that same person. Y más tarde ella se casó con esa persona. And they were living together with many, for many years. Y después se casaron durante muchos y vivieron juntos mucho tiempo. And later she's talking to one of her friends. Y entonces después está hablando con uno de sus amigos. And saying, I am the same person and he is the same person and the same uh, all the features of the spring time are the same. But somehow that my heart is not satisfied. It is not so glorious like that day when we first met. Y entonces está diciendo, aunque eres el mismo, también el mes también, yo no estoy tan satisfecha porque no es tan glorioso como fue la primera vez. So the verse is still filled with the romantic nostalgia. Tiene ese toque de nostalgia romántica. Huh? But it's nothing to do with Radha and Krishna, it's material, one day. Pero nada tiene que ver con Radha y Krishna, es material, es mundano. So why is Mahaprabhu a sannyasi? Singing a mon mundane love poetry in the holy festival of Ratiatra. <laughs> no one could understand. <coughs> except for Swarup Damodar. <coughs> Swarup Damodar knew what mood would come in the heart of Mahaprabhu at this Ratiatra festival. That's why he sang the verse that inspired Mahaprabhu to sing this verse. Entonces solamente Sarup Damodar lo sabía y él inspiró, Mahaprabhu le inspiró el corazón de Sarup Damodar para que cantase ese verso. No, 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 This verse is well known among every educated person. Because it can be found in uh, Kavya Prakash. Which is a book that everyone who study after studying grammar, then you have to study poetics and you must study Kavya Prakash. And later the same verse was included in the Sahitya Darpan also of Vishwanath Kaviraj. So Mahaprabhu and all the Goswamis when they were at school they had to study this. It's an example of a verse uh, which has mm, no alankars. It doesn't have any poetic embellishments, it's just directly. Uh, but still it's full of the material ras. But Mahaprabhu was not, he was taking this verse and through this verse he was experiencing a Prakrita Rasa. What was he thinking? He was thinking that I am Radharani and here is Krishna. Krishna, he left me, he left Vrindavan. He went to Mathura. And then he moved all the Mathura buses to Dwarka, very far away. Then he married many princesses. And on the occasion of a solar eclipse, Krishna with his, all his family from Dwarka came to the holy place of Kurukshetra to do sacrifices at the time of the solar eclipse. At that time, the residents of Vrindavan also came to Kurukshetra. And now Radharani, after long separation, she's seen Krishna for the first time after several years. And Radhika is saying to her Saki Vishaka, I am the same Radhika, he is the same Krishna. This is the same spring time. But my heart is not satisfied here in Kurukshetra. I just desire to be back with Krishna on the bank of Jamuna in the Kunjas of Vrindavan. So, Mahaprabhu was in this mood. He was, we cannot say only thinking or he was actually there. <coughs> How did this pastime come about of meeting at Kurukshetra? 
¿Cómo sucede este pasatiempo de encontrarse en Kurukshetra? Krishna was in Dwarka. Krishna was in Dwarka. And in the meantime, the residents of Vrindavan all were dying in separation from Sri Krishna. Y todos los residentes de Vrindavan morían de separación de Sri Krishna. We saw today how Sachi, the condition of Sachimata, uh, that was the condition of Yashoda when Krishna had left Vrindavan. Krishna's mother would be inside the house and she would see the toys of Krishna that he played with as a child. His marble cows. Uh, you see, little coward boys, before they're old enough to graze the cows, when they're babies, they play with little marble cows. So she collected the toys of Krishna and his flute and she put them in a cloth. And Madhya Shoda, she went out into the courtyard. And she came to the gate, leaving the palace. And it was midday. And the sun was very hot. And she was just standing like a statue with the cloth of toys, the cloth full of Krishna's toys in her hand and stunned, not moving. Some Saki, some friends of Madhya Shoda looked up, where is your Shoda? And they saw her outside standing in the blazing sun. So they ran to her. Oh, Saki, what are you doing here? She said, I am going to Mathura. And I will apply for a job to be a maid servant in the house of Devaki. And I will tell them, Oh, Devaki, I will serve in your household, but I am not asking for any pay. As long as just once every day you allow me to see your son. And then Madhya Shoda fainted. And the Sakis carried her back into the house. This is the condition of the intense fire of separation in Vrindavan. Esa es la condición del intenso amor separación en el lado. After some time, a messenger arrived in the village. Después de un tiempo llegó un mensajero al. Beating the drums. Tocando los tambores fuerte. Boom, 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 boom. He said, "I have an announcement." Dijo, tengo, tengo que deciros algo importante. Here, here. Aquí, por favor, aquí. The king of Dwarka, Dwarkadish, the prince of Dwarka, Sri Krishna, is giving joy to the whole world. El príncipe de Dwarka, el rey de Dwarka, está dando placer a todo el mundo. And very soon, on the occasion of a solar eclipse, the Dwarkadish will be present at Kurukshetra to perform sacrifices. Y muy pronto estará presente en Kurukshetra. Dwarkadish estará presente en Kurukshetra. Hearing this, all the Brijbasis began to talk amongst themselves. Y entonces entre ellos todos los reyes comenzaron a hablar cuando escucharon esta noticia. Because Dwarka is very far in the west, on of of the west coast of India, but Kurukshetra is just little. A bit north of Brindava, not so far away. Yeah, because Kurukshetra is a little bit west, and Brindava is a little bit north of Brindava. Nandamaraj first he had a private discussion with Madhya Shoda. Nandamaraj antes tuvo una pequeña discusión antes con Madhya Shoda. He always checks everything with Madhya Shoda. Pregunta antes con Madhya Shoda. And then he came and he dressed all of his people in the village. Y entonces él vino y vio y y se dirigió a todos los habitantes de la de la de Brindavan. He said, for a long time we have all been very eager to meet with Sri Krishna, but there has been no chance. 
Por mucho tiempo hemos intentado encontrarnos con Krishna, Krishna pero no ha habido el momento. If we were to go to meet him in Mathura or Dwarka, then the demons they would see what a relationship we have with Krishna and then they would not do anything to nourish that relationship. Si hubiéramos ido a Mathura y Dwarka, todos los demonios hubieran intercedido y no hubieran alimentado ese encuentro. Mm. That's Nanda Maharaj's mm, very polite way of saying they all try to kill us. Es una manera muy educada de decir que les podrían les podrían matar. He said, but now, because on the time of the solar eclipse, people from all over the world will be taking shelter of the prominent holy place of the Dwarpa Yuga, Kurukshetra. Everyone will be going there. So if we go there also, then no one will be suspicious of anything. Pero ahora, la ocasión del, de ese eclipse solar, todo el mundo, Dwarpa Dish y Kurukshetra, irán allí para, para purificarse y nadie va a notar nuestra presencia. So this is our chance to see Krishna. Esta es nuestra oportunidad ahora para ver a Krishna. But then Nanda Maharaj, he realized that everyone cannot go. Someone will have to stay behind to take care of the ghost, the coward village and the cows. Y en ese momento se dio cuenta que en la aldea debía quedarse alguien para cuidar o atender a las vacas de la aldea. So then Nanda Maharaj said. But by what reason can any one of you be persuaded to not go? Y dijo, pero por qué razón ibais a cualquiera de vosotros a a dejar ser eh, influenciados para no ir? So though Nanda Maharaj was the leader of the whole village, the king, the chief, but he did not have it in his heart to say, you can go and you cannot go. Como jefe de la aldea. No podía, ir, o sea, no podía hacer ese movimiento de decir, tú sí que vas, tú no vas. How much pain is there, Maharaj? Porque era de ese pain ese amor. So Nanda Maharaj just became silent. Y entonces se quedó bien en silencio. And he didn't know what to say. Y no sabía. No one knew what to say. It was a dilemma. No articulaba palabra. Era un dilema. So some time passed. Se pasó un tiempo. And then another messenger arrived. Y otro mensajero llegaba. Hmm? Krishna had so many horses and he would have messages going up and down. Another messenger came with a letter. Y otro I have the letter. <laughs> and he presented it to Nanda Maharaj. The letter said, O oh, Pita Sri, O oh, my respectful father, Oh, mi querido respetuoso padre, Pita Sri. Pita, Pita Sri. Now an opportunity has come. Though I wanted to meet with you, there was no opportunity before. But now this great opportunity has come. Hay una gran oportunidad ahora. Antes quise, pero no pude. Pero ahora sí puedo. So, those of you who don't have faith in my Spurti Moi Milan, they should come to Kurukshetra. Tengo una noticia, es que todos aquellos que no tengan fe en mi Spurti Moi Milan deben venir a Kurukshetra. What is Spurti Moi Milan? ¿Qué significa? Milan means meeting, and Spurti Moi means when separation is very intense, then due to the power of praying, the devotee has a sudden vision of that Krishna is with him, and then afterwards that vision disappears. Spurti es la visión. No es cuando estás con una intensidad enorme de ver, de ver a ese ser querido y, la, y estás viendo a esa persona, pero de, de repente desaparece. So there are three types of praying. Como sabemos, hay tres tipos de praying. Vivek Shunya praying, Vishramba praying, and Utkanta Mai praying. The first one, Vivek Shunya praying, means the love which is devoid of the power of discrimination. Vivek Shunya praying es aquel praying que está desprovisto de cualquier tipo de discriminación. Like the cows. Como las vacas. The cows feel separation from Krishna, but they don't know whether it's Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, <laughs> or how much time has passed. Sienten separación de Krishna, pero no saben si es el martes o cuánto tiempo ha pasado. The trees in Vrindavan, they love Krishna. 
Así como los árboles también aman a Krishna. But even when Krishna was there, he didn't go to every forest every day. So every tree did not see Krishna every day. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando estaba allí tampoco podía ir a todas las forestas, a los bosques todos los días. So the trees are sad, but they cannot understand that Krishna is gone. He's living very far away in a fortress in the ocean, very thousands of miles away. Estaban tristes, pero no sabían porque claro, Krishna no puede venir todos los días. Está muy lejos. So they have love, but it's vivacious and it's without discrimination. Then there's Vishram, Vishram the brain. That is the love of the coward boys. Like Sri Dham, Arjun Labanga spoke with Krishna. The coward boys, in separation from Sri Krishna, they are crying. Oh Gopal, oh my Saka, where are you? And then they see Krishna coming with a rope in one hand and a bucket in the other hand for milking the cows. <laughs> Come on, Saka, let's go and milk the cows. And they get up and they're playing with Krishna. They go out into the fields singing and dancing. Mm? But this is only sporty. A vision due to intense separation. And then when that, that vision breaks, then they cry. But those who have Vishwamba praying, they have Vishwas, faith, confidence. Vishwas. And they have Vishwas in Sporty Mai Milan, that means faith in the meeting, in the vision. And then the next level of Prem is called Utkanta Mai Prem. It means the love which is endowed with very intense eagerness. So that is the love of the parents. Like Nanda and Yashoda. Like Krishna's uncles, Upananda and Abhinanda. And his aunties, Bivari and Tungi. And also, of course, the gopis of Vrindavan and Radhika Lalita Vishaka. So, all of them, they also see Krishna in a sporty. But even seeing the sporty, their separation is increasing. It's not satisfied. And when the sporty disappears, their separation becomes double. And they never think that was real. They think, oh, I just became mad. I was dreaming. So, Nanda Maharaj could not decide to tell who will go and who will stay. But Krishna is very rasic. He knows the nature of Prem. So he solved the problem by sending another messenger saying, those who are satisfied with the sporty my life, they have faith in that. They can stay behind. Because they think they're meeting with me anyway. And those who don't have confidence in that, they should come because they really need to come. Entonces dijo el mensaje, por eso envió el mensajero, dijo, aquellos que tienen Sportimo en Milán, que tienen esa visión, pueden no venir, pero los que no tienen fe en esa visión pueden venir. So, Krishna did not say who has faith in Sportimo en Milán and who doesn't have faith. Él no dijo Krishna. In the letter, he just said this. No dijo eso. No dijo quién tiene fe o quién no. But Krishna did say that the cows are my chitta. Y dijo, los, las vacas son mi, mi chitta. And the coward boys are my prey. So as you know, the pran is always interwoven in the chitta. They always stay together. So by this Krishna was indicating, the cows cannot come, and they are chitta, and my pran should always stay with the cows. So by those words, the cows are my chitta, and the coward boys are my prana, he indicated, the Sakas should stay behind, everyone else should come to Kurukshetra. 
sí que estaba diciendo implícito en realidad que las vacas pueden, son mi chita y los vaqueritos son mi fran, que los sacas se pueden quedar atrás y todo el mundo, todo el resto puede venir. So hearing this, the coward boys began to cry. Pero escuchando esto, los, los cabaqueritos se empezaron a, a desconsolar. One coward boy said, oh, we serve Krishna with our millions of brands. Y un vaquerito decía, sí, hemos servido a Krishna con millones de brands. So anything that Krishna says, we must do that. Todo lo que él dice, vamos a hacerlo. So they accepted that they would stay. <laughs> but the, in Braj there are two types of coward boys. One is Chris, group is Krishna's friends. And the other group is the husbands of the gopis. <laughs> so they don't mix too much. <laughs> but now they all realize that the, these two groups would have to stay back. So then they looked at each other and they became friends. We'll stay and take care of the cows for Krishna. And, the, and those gopas who were the husbands of the gopis, they had to admit, everyone in Braj loves Krishna and our wives will die, so we'll let them go. They should go. Así que los maridos de los gopis hablaron entre sí y dijeron, todo el mundo a Krishna brindaban, así que vamos a dejar que nuestras mujeres vayan. Nosotros nos quedamos. So when it was time to go, then the bridge buses then loaded up their big bullet carts. Así que cuando estaban preparados todos cargaron sus carros grandes. They put so many preparations and gifts to give to Krishna there on the bullet carts. Y millones de preparaciones y de regalos y adornos. And Madhya Shoda she got onto her bullet cart. Y Madhya Shoda se subió a ese carro. And she knew that Radhika and her sakis were feeling intense separation from her son. So she called Radhika, you come and sit on my bullet cart with me. And Radhika came and Lili Tvishak also they sat on Madhya Shoda's bullet cart to go on this journey. Go with me. It is said that Madhya Shoda would embrace Radhika, Navavidum Iva, as if Radhika was her daughter-in-law. She's not, but Radhika wanted, and Madhya Shoda wanted, and now, just as if she were her daughter-in-law, she was embracing Radhika and keeping her on the bullock. <laughs> So the ladies and children were riding on the bullock carts. And the men were marching alongside with their weapons. And the, the caravan left from Braj, very long caravan of many bridge buses. And because with every step they were getting closer to seeing Krishna, the bridge buses were having so many ecstatic symptoms. They would be walking and then uh, come stand and freeze and then walk again. Because many barbs were rising in the heart, they were changing different colors. Because they were trembling so much, they could not speak clearly. So from one side, the bridge buses were approaching Kurukshetra. On the bullet carts from the dairy farm. And from the other side was coming the Yadu dynasty. Krishna with 16,108 queens. On chariots of gold. Pulled by beautiful white horses. With thousands, with his sons and grandsons. So he has 10 sons from each of his 16,108 queens. And they also had 10 sons, so there are millions of Yadus. 
And they're coming with all their Brahmin priests. And so many soldiers and warriors. Riding on horses and elephants. So just as the, the waves of the ocean come in and cover the beach, so the Yadu dynasty in arriving in Kurukshetra was like a wave of in waves in the ocean of Aishwarya. Mm -hmm. They set out earlier. And they arrived first. So when they arrived, they pitched their big tents, like palaces. And thousands of people, kings from all over the world were there. Bhishma was there, Dronacharya was there, Duryodhana was there. And uh, all the great rishis of the world, Narad, Vyas, the Vishwamitra, Vashishta, all the sages from around the universe had come there. So in the daytime, Krishna was holding a council of the, with the kings and princes of the world. It's Krishna and Bharat were sitting on a throne, surrounded by all the kings, having a meeting. So at that time, in the distance, the bullet carts were arri arriving at Kurukshetra. And the fragrance of Krishna was carried on the breeze. And Nanda Maharaj, oh my son, <laughs> Uddhav came while Krishna was in the meeting and Uddhav whispered in Krishna's ear, Nanda Maharaj has arrived. <laughs> then Krishna who was sitting there like a prince with Balaram, as soon as he heard Nanda Maharaj has arrived, then his country Avesh, his absorption in being a warrior, completely went away and he came in Gopavesh. Oh, I'm a coward boy, what am I doing in all this armor and gold surrounded by kings? All this power! All this power and opulence! It's rubbish. <laughs> he felt uncomfortable. <laughs> but he could not, he cannot open in public his relationship with the bridge buses because the demons will try to attack Prandana. <laughs> so then Krishna, he controlled his emotions. Then he announced to the kings, Today our meeting is adjourned. <laughs> Everyone gave pranam and the, the meeting was dispersed. <laughs> then Uddhav took Krishna Balamka <laughs> to a more private place. <laughs> and Krishna Balaram came to that place and Nanda Maharaj was there. Seeing Nanda Maharaj, Krishna Balaram fell on the ground giving him pranams. And Nanda Maharaj just wanted to pick them up and give them a hug, but he was trembling in so much ecstasy he couldn't move his arms. So then Krishna and Baram, they got up and then they impressed. And now Nanda Maharaj was holding his two boys. And he was crying loudly. And all the rishis, the sages were there watching. The sages are praying to Krishna. Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 
pranams to the all-pervading Supreme Personality of Godhead. But now they're seeing that Supreme Personality is, is crying and saying, Oh, Papa, Papa. Pa. <laughs> and the sages were thinking, Oh, oh, Bhagyam, oh, Bhagyam, Nanda Gopa Prakrama. How fortunate, how fortunate is this person, Nanda Maharaj. The Supreme Lord is loves him as his father. Vasudeva has very strong friendship with Nanda Maharaj. Their cousins. And he took Nanda Maharaj to go and meet with the other members of his family. All the sages were amazed, they had never seen such love. Krishna asked Uddhav, where is my mother? So when Nanda Maharaj arrived, they made the bullet cards in a circle. And Madhya Shodha was sitting with some of her sakis in one big bullet cart with the canvas sides. So Krishna and Bhagavan, they made their way there. And Devaki also came. And Rohini also came. All the mothers. So then Krishna and Bharam, they opened the curtain and they saw Mother Yashoda there. She was like a very tender flowering creeper who had become completely dried up in the heat of the sun. Uh, Upon seeing her, Devaki was very concerned. What happened to Mother Yashoda? But all of her worry was completely dissipated the moment Krishna came and fell at the feet of Mother Yashoda. And Balaram also. And they were crying, oh my yeah, my yeah. And Yashoda, she stood up. But Krishna and Balaram, they could not stand up, they just go on their knees like this. <laughs> so Mati Yashoda took the head of Krishna and Balaram and hold them on her breast. And all three were weeping. And Madhya Shoda was bathing Krishna and Bharam in her tears. When Devaki was watching, because Devaki was saying, I am Krishna's mother. I love my son. But when she saw the love between Krishna and Yashoda, she became insecure. Her love was only like a drop compared to your shoulders ocean. By the touch of Krishna, then that what looked like a dried up creeper, it was as if nectar had fallen on it and came alive again and became sweet and beautiful again. Esa enredadera que estaba medio seca re se revitalizó y empezó a ser fresca de nuevo y, y, y a tener mucha belleza. In her insecurity, Devaki began to speak. Y en su inseguridad habló de Bhakti. She said, Oh Yashoda, at that time when these two boys they did not know who their real mother was. Dijo, En este momento, estos dos niños no sabían, eh, dijo, hasta el momento no sabía realmente quién era la madre de estos dos niños. Then at that time you took care of them. Y hasta en ese momento tú tomaste cuidado de ellos. Uh, so uh, intimately, just like the eyelid, spontaneously and naturally always protects the eye. Así como instantáneamente el párpado protege de manera natural, natural el ojo. 
So you are a real sadhu because a sadhu never discriminates between their own children and someone else's children. So on the pretext of glorifying Mother Shoda, she was saying, he is my son. But she was doing Aranya Rodana. That means if you go in the forest and cry, no one is there to hear you. So that's called Aranya Rodana. Madhya Shoda was not listening to her. If you have some relation with someone and someone criticizes them, if your relationship is not strong, then you'll have a doubt. Si tu relación no es fuerte, hay una duda. But if you have a strong relationship of love and someone criticizes you, don't even hear it. Pero si alguien critica a alguien que tú amas, ni siquiera... No afecta tú. Ni siquiera, y tienes fe y confianza, no tiene ningún efecto sobre ti y ni lo tienes en cuenta. So because of the intense love of Madhya Shoda for Krishna, uh, Devaki was crying in the wilderness. Así que por la intensidad del amor de Madhya Shoda hacia Krishna, Devaki estaba llorando en, en la... Eh, Rohini saw this is not good that Devaki is here at this moment. <coughs> so on the pretext of saying, oh, please come and meet when the other family members are arriving, she took Devaki away so Krishna and Balaram could be alone with Madhya Shoda. Krishna So then after the sweet meeting of Krishna and Balaram and Yashoda, Krishna came outside. Así que con ese encuentro amoroso entre Krishna y Balaram con María Sola, después Krishna se marchó. To see, and the bullock carts had been parked in a circle. He wanted to see the old bulls which had bought the pulled the carts to Kurukshetra. Entre las carrozas de los bueyes, ya que él quería ver a los a los toros que habían que había viejos que habían venido. So Krishna came and he was going up to the bulls one by one. And embracing the bulls, he remembered when the bull was a calf. We all pray. And Krishna was crying and embracing each of the bulls, and they were remembering their pastimes together, grazing in the fields of Braja. When they were pastimes in the fields of Braja, he remembered their pastimes together, grazing in the fields of Braja. When they were pastimes in the fields of Braja, he remembered their pastimes together, grazing in the fields of Braja. When they were pastimes in the fields of Braja, he remembered their pastimes together, grazing in the fields of Braja. When they were pastimes in the fields of Braja, he remembered their pastimes together, grazing in the fields of Braja. When they were pastimes in the fields of Braja, family members, their distant family members in the Yadu dynasty. Kunti met with Vasudev. And with Draupadi. And the, the day was passing. The gopis who had come all the way from Vrindavan, now they were there. They said, we came such a long way. But even here, we have no chance to meet with Krishna. Los gopis que estaban todo el día esperando para encontrarse con Krishna decían: llevamos aquí todo el día, aún no lo hemos encontrado. Because Krishna cannot walk up and embrace them in front of everyone. Their relationship, their loving relationship, is a secret. Como es tan secreta su relación, no pueden así abiertamente en público darse un abrazo. So Balaram and Uddhav had arranged one tent for the Braj gopis. Así que Balaram y Krishna arreglaron todas esas carrocitas. And the branch gopis were sitting there waiting, hoping that eventually Krishna will come around to see us. So Krishna had one tent which was his dressing room. He would go there to bathe and be decorated before greeting the public. Para componerse, poner sus ornamentos, decorarse, limpiarse, bañarse. So when the evening came, he took his leave of all of his seniors. I am retiring for the evening and went into his dressing room. Al atardecer ya anochecer, el más bien se se despidió, se despidió de todos y se marchó a sus aposentos. Udav was waiting. Así esperaba Udav. Krishna said, Where are the copies? Krishna dijo, ¿Dónde se encuentran las copias? Udav said, My lord, walk this way. Y le dijo, Por favor. Because Udav had made a secret passageway 
from Krishna's dressing room going to the tent where all the gopis were. Vrishni nam pravaro mantri Krishna sya daeta saka shishyo prihaspate sakshat uddhavo buddhi sattva. Uddhavi is very intelligent and disciple of Brihaspati, so he arranged everything perfectly so that Krishna could secretly meet with him. Como decís, discípulo de Brihaspati era muy inteligente, sabía muy bien cómo encauzarle para que secretamente encontrarse con las Gopis. So Braj Gopis, Radharani was sitting with her sakis around her, and they they were wearing the same cloth that they were wearing the day that Krishna left. Radharani estaba sentada y totalmente rodeada de todas sus con la misma vestimenta desde el día que salieron de Braya. So the cloth was all that covered with the dust which stuck to their bodies due to the their tears. Desde el día que se marchó Krishna, ya estaba totalmente raída llena de de lágrimas. Sí, estaba. Radhika and the sakis had become very lean and thin because they were not eating or drinking or sleeping. Their hair was disheveled. They were looking very forlorn. And waiting the whole day for Krishna. Yuga yitam nimeshena Chakshusha prabrisha yitam Sunya yitam jagat sarva Govinda Virayana me. Oh, one moment seemed to last like thousands of years. Tears were falling from their eyes like rain in the monsoon season. And they felt that the whole universe was completely empty. Gurudev gave an example that when he was young, his father asked him to carry one uh, bag of dal, very heavy sack of dal, from the monkey place to the house. So it was very heavy, but he thought, I'm strong, I can carry it. And he carried it, and the further he went, it was getting heavier and heavier. Y entonces él la llevaba y cada vez hacía más y más pesada. And then just when he was approaching the house, y justo cuando llegaba a la casa, it was felt so heavy he just couldn't take it anymore. Before he could get in the house, he just dropped it on the ground. Y ya no podía tanto tanto que antes de llegar a la casa ya no podía más y la y se desvaneció y se se dejó la dejó caer en el suelo. So in the same way, the gopis were carrying the heavy burden of a hope. Oh, we want to meet with Krishna. Así que también así de esa forma las gopis estaban llevando esa esa carga de de esperanza de que van a encontrarse con. And as they got closer and closer to Kurukshetra, the hope was getting heavier and heavier. Y así como se acercaban a Kurukshetra, esa esa carga se hacía más y más y más. But now they were there and still they had not seen him. Then they became hopeless. Alas, alas. Estando ya uno le habían visto, así que. Se hicieron totalmente, ya no tenían ninguna fe, se dieron esperanza, se quedaron sin esperanza, se dijeron a las alas. Just at that, at that last moment, when they became hopeless, then Uddhav was bringing Krishna to the entrance to their tent. Justo en ese momento, en el que iban a soltar la última gota de esperanza, entró Uddhav con Krishna. Krishna was filled with so much anticipation as he was approaching the the closed door. His legs were trembling, and he was leaning on the shoulder of Uddhav. Y entonces Krishna sintió tanta anticipación, tanta anhelo que casi le temblaban las piernas antes de mirar y atravesar esa puerta con Uda. And then Uda opened the curtain. Y Uda abrió esa venta, esa cortina. Krishna was remembering how beautiful is Radharani. Y Krishna se acordaba qué hermosa es Radharani. But he looked and what did he see? Lean and thin, hair disheveled, all all cut, sitting there with no hope. Y vio a Radharani sentada ahí, todo su cabello enmarañado, delgadísima, con sus ropas muy, muy ya viejas, raídas y sin ningún tipo de esperanza. And when the Krishna saw Radhika in that condition, at once he fainted in the arms of Uddhav. Y cuando Krishna vio a Radharani en esa condición, inmediatamente se desmayó en los brazos de Uddhav. Gradually his consciousness was coming back. And he was in such distress. Krishna thought, "Who am I?" 
Se encontraba Chris Manuel, estaba tu tal de, 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 de ansiedad. ¿Dónde era? No quién, ni quién era. ¿Qué estoy haciendo aquí? ¿Y cómo qué hago aquí? ¿Quién soy yo? Y y le miró a los ojos de Gálica. Now four eyes meet. En este momento cuatro ojos. Krishna was reflected in the beautiful blue eyes of Radhika and Radhika was reflected in the eyes of Krishna. Krishna se encuentra reflejada en los azules ojos de Radhika y Radhika en los hermosos ojos de Radhika. So that moment Shukadev Goswami Pada has described in Srimad Bhagavatam. Gopiascha Krishna Mupala Jachida Rabista Yat Prakshane Drishu Pakshma Kritam Shapanti Rigbi Ridi Kritamilam Pari Rabya Savasta Pava Mapu Apinitta Yujam Durapam So what Gopis were feeling at that moment and what Krishna was feeling at that moment we'll explain tomorrow. <laughs> But you should know that when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came onto the grand road of Jagannath Puri and looked in the eyes of Lord Jagannath, and Lord Jagannath looked in the eyes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, at that moment Jagannath was Krishna in that tent, and Mahaprabhu was Radharani in that tent, looking at each other for the first time. And that is the internal bhav of Ratyatra Radharani just wanted to get out of that place and bring Krishna at once back to Vrindavan. So the pulling of the red cart Pulling the rope of the chariot means the gopis are pulling on the heart strings of Krishna to implore him, come back home to Vrindavan. El sentido de arrastrar las cuerdas del carro del señor Jagannath, las gopis pidiéndole por favor a Krishna que vuelva de nuevo al hogar a casa. This is the meaning, the deep meaning of the ecstatic love of the Rakyatra festival. Ese es el sentido interno del, de todo el festival. So de tom tomorrow morning we'll complete this and then in the afternoon we'll have Ratyatra and you should all pull the wrath card being absorbed in this pastime. Así que mañana cuando tiréis de las cuerdas podéis absorberos en este pasatiempo. And then we'll sit and we'll hear of the beautiful loving conversation between Radha and Krishna on that day. So be ready for tomorrow. <laughs>